Welcome to February. It's a month with a lot of important days and some kind of weird ones as well. For example, did you know that February 4 is National Eat Ice Cream for Breakfast Day? Seriously, check it out. To be honest, of all the February holidays, this one is close to being my personal favorite. I mean, very, very close. My wife and my doctor, however, would not concur. February 9 is National Toothache Day. Ouch! What masochist came up with that? The only folks I can imagine celebrating that kind of a day would be Steve Martin and Bill Murray in their famous scene from Little Shop of Horrors. Then there's February 12, Plum Pudding Day. Oh, yummy! My guess is that's celebrated a bit more in England than in the States. February 15, National Gumdrop Day. February 20, Hooty Hoo Day. Hooty Hoo! What is that? Seriously, is that a thing? Well, whatever it is, it's got a holiday. There are other days, however, that really need to be taken seriously and pondered and celebrated or properly observed. February 1st, National Freedom Day. And February 12th, Abraham Lincoln's birthday. And February 22, George Washington's birthday. Those days remind us of the noble history of our nation and the leaders who made gallant sacrifices to build a land of freedom and the progress that has been made and the progress that still needs to be made. Those dates call us to do our part to create a safe place for all people, a land of equality and opportunity and dignity for one and for all. February 14, Valentine's Day, and February 17, National Random Acts of Kindness Day. Those days remind us of the incomparable virtue and power of love, and not just saying it or singing it or even preaching it, but of putting it into practice. That, as you recall, is the only time Jesus ever used the word command, the only time. This I command you, he said, that you love one another. The urgency of the words and the sacredness of the speaker mean that we are divinely mandated to take love seriously. The whole month is Black History Month, a time to recall the struggles of those who were denied the basic liberties endowed to all people as children of God and the nobility with which a whole race made its journey toward freedom, and the courage of brave voices who often became martyrs by speaking out for that which is right. This month calls us not to become apathetic in the pilgrimage to human rights and human dignity for all people of all races and all origins. Dr. King was correct when he said way back in 1958, Peace is not the absence of conflict. It is instead the presence of justice. Or consider this other statement he made. Life begins to end the day we grow silent about the things that matter. As a people, and especially as people of faith, we cannot grow silent about the God-ordained dream that all persons should live together in freedom, community, and peace. February is the month when we begin to feel that we have actually settled into a new year. In January, we're still experiencing the glow and paying the bills from Christmas and making resolutions and thinking about what last year was like. But in February, we recognize that the old is gone and the new is our reality. So, as followers of Christ, why not let that be a symbol for us, a challenge to do things differently than we have before, to give more, to forgive more, to pray more, and to do so by listening more and talking less, to extend mercy more, 
to stand up and speak out for the oppressed or the vulnerable or the victimized more, to create a culture of kindness more, to laugh more, and to love more. Maybe if we commit ourselves to all those things that this month stands for, and if we give witness to that, and if we practice that, then together we can be catalysts that shift this present age in a direction of a better and more blessed future. I think it's worth a try. Here's my suggestion for February. As you journal night by night, reflect on the question, what did I do today personally to find a better life for myself? and to make life better for others. Happy February. I'll see you in a month with some thoughts about March.